a retail investor means an individual you and me institutional investor means big investors like mutual fund or pension funds so example let's say college pension funds so college pension fund is a pension fund that is based in bc so all the universities and colleges in bc are attached to that pension fund so there are thousands of employees who are working in these universities so each year they contribute some funds those funds are collected by college pension funds and college pension fund then invests that money so the amount of money that is there with institutional investors is large is huge so we have also foreign direct investment so let's say i'm a chinese citizen how can i invest in canadian economy there are two ways one is direct investment i can come here and buy directly buy a house buy some business or buy some land buy some something directly that is called as foreign direct investment i can also have foreign portfolio investment or foreign institutional investment that is indirect investment so instead of buying land directly i can buy shares in a company that is holding lands so or i can buy a bank product so as a foreign investors i have two options direct investments or indirect investment main uses of investment capital so investment capitals are used by government individuals and businesses why do businesses require capital to expand so main use of capital is to expand to start new product lines to build new products to expand the capacity that we generally that the business has it may be required for operational use to pay salaries etc government has different levels so federal rock government may require from some federal projects like trans alberta pipeline so pipeline that joins alberta and bc so it's a federal project right now because trans canada uh, sold it for sold it to federal government so such projects are sponsored by federal government so they require money to do that where does this money come from so this money comes from investors then you have provincial projects and you have city wise projects so users of capitals are individuals like you and me so we require funds for buying a house then there are corporations they require funds for starting a new product line or expansion or their government in which there are federal government may require it provincial or municipal government may require it different financial investments instruments we have seen debt or fixed income bonds and debentures equity ownership in a company investment funds indirect way of investing so you invest in a mutual fund so you give your money to someone else and someone else invests that derivatives so derivatives is and contract in which the value is dependent on underlying so derivative is an instrument who derives its value from underlying so basic example will be milk and curd so if you see curd is a by product of milk it's made out of milk so price of curd is dependent on price of milk so if milk goes up it is expensive to produce curd or yogurt so it prices of yogurt or curd goes up and if prices of milk go down so it will be less expensive to produce yogurt so the prices of yogurt will go down so derivative is a similar product so derivative product prices depends on the underlying so if underlying goes up derivatives generally go up underlying goes down derivatives go down there are different types of derivatives options forwards and futures okay we'll discuss more about it in future classes but a high level remark 
the definition of derivative is derivative is an instrument whose values depend on the underlying other financial instrument like exchange traded funds so these are types of mutual fund so they invest in a particular index so right now you have to remember is exchange traded funds are types of mutual funds then you have private equity private equity is companies that are not listed that are not publicly available for trading so that is private equity so investing in such companies is private equity so these are generally venture funds or small businesses that you can invest in so you can invest in them either through debt or through equity this is majorly known as venture capital now if you see financial markets so financial markets can be money market that are used for short term debt stock markets that are used for buying and selling stock and bond market that is used for buying and selling bonds that is long term debt so money market buying and selling short term debt issued by government or by corporations majorly t bills treasury bills stock markets used for buying and selling stocks and bond markets used for buying and selling bonds that are long term instruments so these this is by product or instrument or their primary market or secondary market what is primary market primary market is when you buy directly from the source primary market is a market that enables you to buy directly from the source so if you are buying something in primary market so you are buying it from the source example if apple is issuing some bonds or some shares and you buy those bonds directly from apple or you buy those shares directly from apple then you are participating in primary market because apple is getting funds you are getting bonds or stock so the issuer is getting money this is primary market secondary market is once you buy apple stock or apple bond now you are selling it to your friend so is apple involved no so your bonds and your stock you are selling it to your friend so you are getting money your friend is getting bonds or stock so money is not flowing to the issuer that is apple this is secondary market primary market is when you buy it from source secondary market is when you buy it from another investor majorly if you see primary market the major info, major instrument is ipo initial public offering financial markets can also be classified as option markets or dealer market auction market or agent based market so in which there is bid and ask so there is buyers and sellers they put on their prices so buyers put on bid and sellers put on ask means there is one apple stock okay so apple stocks are traded on let's say nasdaq so what will happen all the buyers will start putting on their prices at which they want to buy that price is called as bids so there will be different bids by different buyers and all those who want to sell apple stock will start asking for the price that they want so they will put on different asks and these bid prices and ask prices are matched on an exchange if matching happens the sale happens so in auction market brokers are involved these brokers facilitate meeting of buyers and sellers and there is price there is bid and ask prices if bid and ask prices match then trade happens so this is an example of an auction market dealer market is you are not buying there is no connection between direct buyers and direct sellers 
there is an intermediary involved called as dealers so what those these dealers do they buy from sellers keep it in their inventory and then they sell it to buyers so currency as an example if you bank, walk into let's say scotia bank and you want to buy us dollars so scotia bank will say that this is the price at which it buys us dollars and this is the price at which it sells us dollars in canadian dollars so that it will give you a buying price and it will give you a selling price so what is Scotia Bank doing? Scotia Bank is keeping an inventory of US dollars. So when someone comes, it can buy and sell from that inventory. So this is difference between auction markets and dealers market. Then there is short term markets called as money market or long term markets called as capital markets. So this we have covered what are different features of primary and secondary market and how do these markets differ. Major difference is primary markets you can directly buy from the source or the issuer in secondary market you buy it from another investor. So primary market deals with new issues of securities directly from the source, funds flow to issuers Secondary market deals with already existing and issued securities that is the securities hold by investors. Trading occurs between investors and not the company. So money doesn't flow to the company. Money market, these are short term markets. Any debt matured, maturing within a year regardless of when it is issued is traded in money market. Major components is treasury bills. These are bonds with less than one year of maturity and banker banker acceptance so this is another instrument and money markets have only debt instrument they do not have equity instrument capital markets are long-term securities so majorly two things stocks and bonds so bonds that are maturing more than a year are traded in capital markets as well as stocks conducted through dealers market, OTC and auction market exchanges. So you can buy it from a dealer or you can buy it on an exchange. Auction and dealer markets are two main types of markets. So we'll discuss this. Auction market is when buyers put on their orders, sellers put on their orders these orders through a broker go to an exchange and on an exchange order matching happens order matching is buyers order are matched with sellers order so what happens everyone who is buying and selling stocks all their orders are collated and they come to an exchange exchange is a central organization or a central place in an exchange there is an order matching that happens so buyers are paired with sellers and if the prices agree if the prices match then the trade happens so this is how an auction market works example is Toronto stock exchange so where majorly big companies are traded Toronto stock exchange venture exchange in which smaller companies and newer companies are traded Canadian National Stock Exchange. This is another exchange apart from TSX where you can trade. What happens in auction markets? The orders of individual buyers and sellers are entered and they are matched to determine prices. Prices are established according to supply and demand. So if there are more buyers, prices will go up. If there are more sellers, prices will go down form of competitive bidding in auction market exchanges define membership conditions control listing and trading of security so what is exchange exchange is a central piece where trading happens so what does it do it decides which brokers are allowed to trade so it de decides what which are its members which members can trade and it also decides 
which companies are going to be listed, which companies are allowed to trade and how the trading will work. Dealer markets are where these are also called as OTC over the counter markets. These are generally used for trading unlisted securities that are not traded on an exchange. So we have seen dealer market. So dealer buys from buyers and then sells to sellers. So it has inventories. A negotiated market, a net network of dealers trade with each other. Dealer post bid and ask price. Bid is the price at which they buy and ask is the price at which they sell. For example, US dollar. If a bank will buy US dollars, it will buy it at 1.50. If it sells US dollar, it will sell it at 1.60 Canadian dollars. Profit is made on the spread, the difference between buying and selling prices. Bonds are majorly sold in dealer markets. What is a stock exchange? Stock exchange is a marketplace where buyers and sellers of security meet under competitive conditions to trade with each other and where prices are established according to laws of demand and supply. What are criteria of stock exchange? For a good stock exchange, a good stock exchange to should have low transaction cost. Low transaction cost means percentage of money that the exchange retains on each trade. It should be around 1 to 1.5% the entire trading cost. Liquidity, it should be easy to buy and sell securities. Timely and accurate information on price and volume should be available. So let's say you are seeing a price right now, you should be execute you should be able to execute at that price or within a certain range. So if a stock is trading at $10 and by the time you buy it, you buy it at $20, then the price is not accurate. Then consumer protection. Small investors as well as large investors should be protected. A liquid market is fundamental to operation of stock exchange. Liquidity is characterized by frequent sales. So what is liquidity? Liquidity means buying and selling is done very frequently. There is narrow price spreads. So difference between buying and selling prices is not big. And there are small price fluctuations. So stock moves slowly, not means in a aggregated way from 10 to 100 dollars and 100 dollars to back. Apart from exchanges and dealer network, there are also alternative trading and reporting systems. So these are smaller exchanges and smaller dealer networks. So quotation and trade reporting system, alternative trading system and fixed income electronic trading systems. So these are examples of ETS is a smaller exchange or it can be a smaller dealer based network. Trends is increasing market share of ETS. So smaller exchanges are opening up and they are trying to compete with larger exchanges like Toronto Stock Exchanges. Exchanges are merging and looking for alliances and speed of computing technology will continue to increase the amount of trading that happens. So this is it in chapter 2.